I think that comics are just as much of a high art as, as anything else. Like, the themes in them are so, so deep. I'm uh, Justin Alba, and I am the CEO of Comicsverse. We are a website that contains interviews, original articles, weekly reviews of comics and graphic novels, and comic book theory. Um, and we have a podcast that deals with comics and social change. I grew up in Westchester County, New York, one town over from where the fictional X-Men are from. You know, I was definitely overweight as a child, and I was um, very, pretty badly bullied, like, in school. I had, like, literally no friends. It was, for me personally, like a nightmare. I remember I was like, wow, I should just kill myself. And, um, and you know, that emotion stayed with me for a really, really long time. I had nowhere to go that was safe. And I had all these comics to read, and, uh, you know, I sort of discovered that X-Men, like, what I was reading was a comic about people who were um, different and that you could be different and sort of hated by society and be kind of special at the same time and that really moved me. When I was in Columbia I took a class called Comic Books and Graphic Novels as Literature and in that class I met someone really awesome and her name was Kathy. You know I said I always wanted to do a podcast about comics. What do you think of getting together and doing that? She came over I bought like a crappy little mixer. We did our first podcast and it was something that we just did from then on. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, okay, I'm Kay. I'm Genesis. I'm Emily. And, and this, this is Comicsverse. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we had finally found people who talked about comics in the way that, like, the Academy talks about film, or a classical musician will talk about Beethoven. Donna Takeda's art makes me want to cry. Very real tears because of how beautiful and mystical it is. I'm sure all of you will agree, yes. If there's anything that's healed me, it's been this company and being around these people. And knowing that what I felt like what I did was the impossible was to truly create a place where, you know, everyone can be themselves at all times.